Okay, this talk is baby formula surprises. Is baby formula safe? Ingredients, contaminants, and health. You know, I had somebody asking me about this recently, and I kind of had forgotten almost from like what my kids did when they were younger. And um, then I started reading about it, and uh, wow, it's a lot worse than I thought. So first of all, let's say it comes in an aluminum can. Well, aluminum is neurotoxic, so that's not good. Aluminum typically cans are lined on the inner part with BPA, bisphenol A, and that's an endocrine disrupting chemical. And it always gets a tear in it. And so you're going to have increased risk of getting aluminum in there and an estrogenic already, you know, affecting the kid already with unnecessary hormonal stuff. Very commonly, they're going to have corn syrup in there, some type of sweetener. Well, we just talked about that in a recent lecture. Corn syrup is associated with high, you know, moderate risk of having mercury in there. It's often sprayed if it's not organic with atrazine, which is a very powerful feminizing herbicide estrogenic chemical. That's the one that turns male frogs into female frogs. Um, then, um, and by the way, this comes from, first of all, unsafe at any meal. This lady, uh, Renee, Dr. Renee Joy Dufault, she's an expert in food contaminants, and she's so devoted to her job, she retired. <laughs> so she could devote more time to doing her job about all this stuff. And um, so anyways, I was surprised at the ingredient list, how bad they were. Uh, it kind of reminded me many years ago, I wanted, I figured, oh, diabetics, those are really sick people. I'm going to go to the store and look at all the diabetic foods because they must be really helpful, really healthy for all these poor sick people. And they were terrible, the worst stuff. And it's kind of like, you know, babies, you know, poor baby needs the best food and these baby formulas are bad. Dr. McDougall has a video about it. It's pretty funny. He says, infant formula is a dangerous drug and should only be available by prescription. Um, he says it's associated with more health problems in these babies, lower IQs in the babies. Breastfeeding is much, much better. And he also says at the bottom of the slide here, the best formula is protein hydrosylate type, a hypoallergenic cow's milk based type. It's in his newsletter from March 2011. So getting back to this though, unsafe at any meal, uh, the Dufault book. Uh, she showed some of the percentage contents of uh, some nutrient labels on some formulas. Other things in them, you know, coconut oil, it's a saturated fat primarily. Cyanocobalamin, not my favorite version of, of uh, cobalamin. I'm, not a, I'm concerned about what you might be accumulating there. Cow milk in general, not such a great thing. You know, type 1 diabetes is rare, but still it's thought that it's probably associated with cow's milk. Uh, but if you had to pick between cow milk and soy, kind of lean towards cow milk based formula because I wouldn't like all those estrogenic things with the with the soy. But then again, you potentially got estrogenic issues with, with cow milk too. I'd have to look at the details. I guess they, we're not going to get into all that right now. I just remember McDougall recommending protein hydrosylate hypoallergenic cow's milk. What I'm emphasizing in this talk is all the problems with these things, if at all possible, in my opinion. Dr. McDougall's too, and other people's, Dr. Renee Dufault, the woman should try to breastfeed for at least six months. In hunter-gatherer tribes like the Bantus and a lot of other ones, the people breastfeed uh, for, you know, routinely, three, four years, um, at least two years. So it's good to breastfeed. That's what the baby sort of metabolism is designed for. Uh, other things that are mentioned, these things routinely contain these omega-6 vegetable oils. There's a risk of those being contaminated with mercury. Um, the mother should eat a healthy diet herself, so her breast milk is healthier. And like I said, I think women should be able to take more time off from their jobs, like at least six months. But uh, that's not always doable. Okay, continuing on baby formula. Oh, McDougall pointed out that the babies in the first year of life that are formula fed instead of breastfed, they have a 21% increased risk of death. In Finland, which has the lowest rate of infant mortality in the world, 60% of the babies are still breastfed at six months. Um, in Sweden, it's uh, 50%. They have the second uh, lowest infant mortality. In the United States, it's only about 22% at six months. Okay, another book that's a good, interesting book here is called Toxic Legacy by Stephanie Seneff, okay? And she's a PhD researcher on glyphosate, and she talks about the, you know, the non-organic baby formulas. They might, they're often contaminated with glyphosate. You know, that's a pretty toxic substance. She thinks it's associated with increased risk of autism. 
Uh, she also believes that it's especially when it's a soy-based formula, because soy is often spread with a Roundup glyphosate. That's the active ingredient, the main active ingredient in, glyphos in Roundup. Um, glyphosate is also really like an antibiotic. It was sort of classified that way originally, and it um, changes the gut flora, can lead to increased risk of things like leaky gut. It'll decrease a good bacteria called bifidobacterium. I put the page numbers for her book. Previously, I put the page number for the other book there. If anybody wants to look this stuff up, it's pretty easy to look up. Um, she talks, Senef talks about soybean, a, a triple whammy of problems for uh, baby formulas, including endocrine disruptor, disrupting the microbiome, etc. Others have expressed concern about a soy-based protein, potentially for MSG or MFG type effects with the soy protein isolate. Also possible uh, goitrogenic effects. Uh, Mike Adams uh, in his book here is uh, Food Forensics. Food Forensics. He talks about uh, 30 out of 30 infant formulas in one study, which he reviewed, uh, had aluminum in it, you know, maybe from the cans, maybe for some other reason, he felt it was more common with the soy-based formulas. He also referred to the way hexane is commonly used for processing a lot of processed food, and baby formula is a highly processed food. Um, hexane is a petroleum-based chemical, which is neurotoxic. So <laughs> that's the irony of it. Let's say they're trying to make the food sound better, saying we're adding uh, DHA, you know, and ARA, ARA, um, those things might be extracted with hexane and be neurotoxic. So uh, Adams thinks that hexane contamination of infant formulas is worse if they're soy-based. So you can see, you know, and McDougall said the second best thing to have in mama breastfeed is having a wet nurse breastfeed the baby. And of course, the healthier that mama eats or the wet nurse eats, the better their milk's going to be for the baby. Okay, also if you're reconstituting, you know, make sure the water you're reconstituted in is good, you know, like let's say we're osmosis, but they don't ever drink straight we're straight RO water, of course. Okay, um, here's some references, you know, all about the toxic heavy metals uh, potentially found in infant formula. Let's see, anything else here? Here's those book references, the ones I showed in the talk. Um, yeah, so the, the more you look at uh, infant formula, the worse it gets. So I'd go with McDougall's recommendation, make it organic as well, and that's probably the best you can do as far as I know. Okay, well, good luck with that.